We drink beer with raw eggs. Okay. You are from Siem Reap, right? I'm from Siem Reap. Originally from here, Siem Reap. It's my hometown. I can share all of the food we have in Cambodia to other people in the world to know how delicious of Cambodian food, or we call Khmer food. So far in Cambodia, I've tried a lot of unusual food, but it would be nearly impossible for me to pin down the identity of Cambodian cuisine. And there's a reason for that. 1975 to 79, okay. that is the Khmer Rouge time, that yeah. Cambodian people living in a very hard time, and they don't care about what to eat, they only care how to survive. Mm. So after the war finish, they forget what food they're gonna cook until now, yeah. slowly coming back to cook all the Khmer food and to show people in the world what is Khmer food, how delicious it is. Should be 35 to 45 different food and beverages that you're gonna have along the way. Wow, do you think that will be enough to get me full? <laughs> that... You think so? <laughs> more than full. <laughs> Today I'm going on an epic Cambodian food tour with Anchor Street Eats and my local guide, Khan will hit tons of delicious foods with some adventure eating elements mixed in. Half of it, yeah! <laughs> the first place is called Tnaute. Tnaute is a very small local restaurant in the middle of the village. And very few Cambodian people that they know the place. There is no tourist except the guests of Uncle Street. Eat. Okay, so this one is corn, these two are different dumplings, pork and one with veggie, and this one is rice cake with uh, fish gravy. That is not something you hear together that often, fish gravy. What is it called? Numjuruk. Numjuruk. Numjuruk is rice cake with pork. Gravy made from fish. I'm gonna smell this first. This one seems like the first kind of, you know, risky thing for me. No, 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 it's real fish. It is nice. Oh yeah. Oh my god, everything here is ridiculously good. On the outside is rice? Rice, rice, and bean, and pork. And bean and pork. Yeah. The average person, you know, from the West, I don't think they would say that this is even rice. It has like a, a very soft, almost like rice pudding kind of texture. But this, I know this is just a few items, but already I, it's outstanding. Like I'm completely blown away. When I was doing research about coming to Cambodia and finding food to eat and, and asking people for food recommendations, so many foreigners were completely clueless. And a lot of people were kind of disparaging <laughs> about Cambodian food, saying, you know, that the food is just like not developed. It's not, it's not good. They don't have like a good food culture. You know, this is something that Cambodian, they don't really writing. Mostly Cambodian yeah. is not good at writing. Okay. That's why I cannot introduce to people. Yeah. But now the new generation they are starting. Okay. They're starting to make and write. Do you feel like the food culture in Cambodia is really emerging right now? Yeah. Yeah. Now it's emerging. How come some sugarcane juice is like more brown and some is more white? It depends on the month. Some month is really brown, some month is really yellow. And then I noticed also you've got me a gift on this plate that you wrapped up with a leaf. Yeah, it is yeah. a really good gift. Is it an iPod? This is called amok fish. Okay. Oh, amok I've heard about this. fish is one of the delicious dish in Cambodia. Yeah, it's like one of the most famous Yeah, one dishes. of the famous Like what adobo is to Cambodia. the Philippines or pho to Vietnam. Like you're going to unwrap it now? All right, let's see it. So they've steamed the amok fish in the banana leaf. Uh, how long do they steam it? Take about one hour plus. Banana leaves are used for like a lot of different stuff? Yes. Okay, like what else? Like popcorn? Popcorn, no, not popcorn. No, okay. Fish paste. Okay. They also grill with the banana leaf. What else is in here though? It's made from river fish and mix with the curry ingredients. Uh oh. Yeah. How's that? Oh, yeah. Cool. That That's is vegetable. Big. That is salad. Ah, yeah. Let's this you eat all. Eat that too? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. here's a little bite. I don't yeah. think I got any fish on that yeah. one. Don't have fish. Fish is okay. Oh. Yeah. You do like a bite of the food and then a bite yeah, of the bite rice? Yeah, bite of the rice. Okay. It's not fishy at all, but it has a nice flaky texture. 
Like it's been steamed perfectly. Yeah, yeah for sure. I've never smell. had. I've never had a curry flavor yeah. with fish before, but it just goes together amazingly well. I feel actually like I'm getting hungrier at every place because I'm getting like more and more excited. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, let's head to the next place. I do find that I'm finding it difficult to breathe. Am I doing something wrong? Maybe you're walking too fast. That's why you you, you get difficulty on breathing. That's good. Slower movement, but keep eating though, right? Keep eating. I've got to say, one thing I really like is this the the top on these. This is like that old school top that you rip off. Like we don't have this in the U.S., but it just peels off like that. Look at that. You can actually win a free beer through the tab, right? Yeah. We have another chance here. Why don't you go for it? Let's see what we got. Another one. Check. 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 Does it help if you go slow? Ah, uh, just thank you. Another thank you. Budweiser, get on this. What are you thinking? Chol mui. Yeah, chol mui. Chol mui. Okay, now starting with baby egg. Oh, that looks nice. I'm gonna be honest. I started doing these food tours so I wouldn't have to eat stuff like this anymore. This is good. Yeah, this is good, and this is food adventure. Now I know this is super popular in the Philippines. I've eaten it there. It's called balut. What is this called here? Pong I mean Pong baby egg. Oh, okay. Baby egg. Baby egg. Half oh. of it. Yeah! Oh, no! Yeah. Why did I do that? Open your eyes very big and eat it. It tastes like chicken, isn't it? The flavor is good. It really is. Yeah. It's just that I can feel the little skeleton of the bird. <laughs> I can feel little bones. We've been through a lot tonight. <laughs> we ate food. We had beers. We ate a lot more food. I uh, had trouble breathing a few, a couple times. We drink beer with raw eggs. Okay. Uh, that is something I've never done before. This is like if Rocky was also a junkie. Okay. And why you don't put it here? I should do the same. Yes. Okay. Open it. Bing. Oh my god, the yolk is at the bottom. This is intense. Okay, Chun here we go. Chun mui. Nailed it. Sometime I drink 40 eggs with my friend. Two of us, 40 chicken eggs. In one night? In one night. <laughs> Alright, that has to be terrible for you, right? Not terrible, it's very good fun. Really good? Very good fun, very oh, good fun. fun. But yeah, what about your good. body? Is your body... My like body is very good. You feel strong the next day? Not strong the next day, strong tonight. We moved on to the uh, the jungle sampler, <laughs> and we have grasshopper. This is what, a water beetle? This is water beetle. Okay, hey, I've never had that. And then we have something that I didn't think would bother me so much, but it's an entire dried frog. It's like, you know, when the crust of the pizza bubbles up, uh, yeah, that's what its back is doing right now. <laughs> Cheers. The only bad part about like grasshopper is it gets in your teeth. Some of the insects. Yeah. Is really helpful. Look like a natural medicine. Okay. To heal people, this this water beetle can be healing the pregnant lady. A pregnant lady. A pregnant lady. Of course. It's really sweet. Okay, good. Wow, I, I'm not a pregnant lady, <laughs> but huh, I feel the effects already. I'm feeling... Uh, Healing. He healed. All right, well, next uh, dessert or... The frog. Do you eat the whole thing? Wop, wop. All right, that came right off. Little frog leg there. Really chewy. Oh. All right. If you ate ramen noodle that's not cooked, it tastes a little bit like that. So you can just bite the head off and like, and it's no big deal. This whole tour today has shed a whole new light on Cambodia and the food here. It's uh, it's just so much that I, I didn't expect at all. The food here is, is just on another level and this has been an amazing experience. So thank you so yeah. much. You're welcome. And remember, what you hear cannot compare to what you see. 
So wait until you see. You hear thousand times, you see once. Ah, oh, amazing. Love it. Thank you. All right, take care. You too. Peace. <laughs> Cut. All right.